program is brought to you by NewsWorks in cooperation with the City of Eau Claire. This program is simulcast on WRFPLP 101.9. Hello, and welcome to Meet the Candidates. In this series, NewsWorks, an imprint of Valley Media Works, introduces you to the candidates running for state and local level elections. The next election, covering Eau Claire City Council, Eau Claire City Council President, and Eau Claire Area School District Board, will be on April 2nd, 2019. Today, I'm joined by Laura Benjamin. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me, Heather. Okay. Why don't we start off by telling everybody what you're running for? Sure. I'm running for Eau Claire City Council as a, as a three-year older person. Okay. And what does that, what geographic area does that cover, or is there a specific demographic that you're going to be representing? So it covers, it's an at-large seat, so it covers all of Eau Claire, unlike some of the district seats that are currently um, not for re-election this year. Okay. And what interests you in running for that position? Well, um, I've been a resident of Eau Claire for 20 years, um, and I've seen this community go undergo a number of changes, and I love a lot of the changes that have been happening here in Eau Claire. I love the, the progress that downtown has made, and I want to see some of those trends continue. I want to be able to take the experience that I've had in business and leadership and help apply that to the city as a whole and see where we can take this community for the next three years. And uh, what types of things are you hoping to address as a city council person? Sure. The, the major things that I'm really hoping to have an impact on are, number one, entrepreneurship. I think that there's a huge opportunity for us in Eau Claire to lead the way in Wisconsin when it comes, comes to entrepreneurship. We're last in the U.S. in terms of Wisconsin in startup activity, and that's one of those areas that I think we can have a major impact. We have great resources in our community that provide for people that have an idea and want to start a business, but the problem is that a lot of them aren't connected, and there's nothing on the city government level that helps to reinforce how we can move those things forward. And so that's one area that I'd really like to be able to have an impact. A second thing is that I think we're still undergoing some brain drain from this area. We see a lot of people come here for college or leave here for college and then not come back, right? So they come here for the university, they get their education, and then they look at the Twin Cities or they look at uh, Madison area instead of looking here for opportunity. And I think that by looking at entrepreneurship as an opportunity there, by looking at how we address wages and housing, we can create more space for these people to feel welcome and that they can start their careers right here in Eau Claire. The third thing is that I, I do want to address affordable housing. I think it's a major issue when it comes to um, how livable Eau Claire is. There have been some amazing developments downtown, as I said at the beginning. Um, it's been wonderful to see those things develop. Sometimes that displaces people, and sometimes that creates uh, some need that we, our community isn't always immediately addressing. And so one of the biggest things that I think that I can get to work on, too, is saying, well, where are, where are these people going to go? And how can we use business and, and uh, landlords and work together with tenants to find places where more people can live? And, and by affordable, I mean within a certain, like about 30 to 40 percent of their, of their income. And finally, I'm a member of the LGBT community, and I do think that um, with their current presidential administration, there have been some attacks on Title VII. And uh, Title VII, for those that, that don't know, provide for protections for LGBT individuals, um, as defined under sex in Title VII, from being discriminated in housing and in, in employment. And I'm an employer, and I don't feel like it's right for me to be able to discriminate against someone for you know, who they are or how, how, how their, their sexual orientation or anything like that. And so um, with, with the attacks on Title VII, um, we do have statewide protections for LGBT people, at least in terms of um, sexual orientation. But we're, what we're missing is gender identity and gender expression. And so one of the biggest things that I would do starting out in city council would be to propose legislation to say, uh, as a city, we're not going to permit discrimination on that level. We're going to make sure that we're, we're looking at other cities that have done this, like Madison, Milwaukee, um, Janesville, I believe, and De Pere, and a couple other communities here in Wisconsin have already passed similar legislation. And I want to make sure that if something does happen to Title VII, that we have protections at the city level that say, we as a community don't discriminate. We're going to make sure that people are protected. Um, no matter what their LGBT, LGBT status is. All right. And that's it. <laughs> Just a few things. Okay. Um, so what makes you 
a good candidate? What sets you apart from some of the other folks who are running right now? Great. So uh, again, I've been here 20 years and I've seen this community undergo a number of changes. And having been in a number of different capacities in this community from volunteer, up, uh, from volunteer positions, um, things like Evercode and Junior Achievement and working on, on some of those things, to being involved in the entrepreneurship community. I've, been, I've worked with the EDC a number of times on Startup 48 and on uh, the Ideas Challenge to help entrepreneurs succeed in our community. I've been a business owner for the past eight years and employed uh, many people to, uh, to help further uh, different business goals in our community and beyond. And so I feel like my experience as a leader and my, um, sorry, I'm seeing a key here, and my, <laughs> you told me not to get distracted and now I'm getting distracted. <laughs> okay. um, and so I feel like my, my experience as a leader and, and, and being involved in our community really positions me uniquely to help have an impact and shape what the future of Eau Claire looks like. Is there anything else that you think voters should know about you going into the election on April 2nd? Anything that you feel you haven't covered already? Gosh, well, I think I, I kind of uh, went through a lot there. So, um, no, the biggest things are we, uh, we've got a, a great Facebook community that's growing. And uh, if, you, if you look that up on Facebook, look for Laura Benjamin for Eau Claire. And uh, we've also got a great website, Laura, lauraec.com, that uh, I'm publishing some resources and some other materials on that, on that resource as well. So that's right. it. Well, thank you so much for joining us today and letting our viewers at home know more about you and what you are hoping to do in your po possible position as an Eau Claire City Council person. Hope so, yes. Um, and thank you, audience, for joining us also. This program is made possible by you and our supporters. If you would like to get involved, you can learn more at www.valleymediaworks.org. This program was brought to you by a cooperation between NewsWorks and the City of Eau Claire. NewsWorks is made possible by continuing community support. If you would like to volunteer or make a donation, please contact us via phone at 715-839-5067 or online at valleymediaworks.org.